And thank you for staying with us. Puerto Rico is in a state of emergency after being hit by two massive earthquakes. A 5.9 magnitude earthquake struck on December 28th, followed by a 6.4 magnitude earthquake on January the 7th. The quake is at least uh, responsible for the death of one man, destroying homes and leaving most of the island without power with an estimate of $110 million in damages. Here now to tell us how New York City is providing help to Puerto Rico is the council member for the 17th District of the New York City Council, Councilman Rafael Salamanca Jr. Good to have you, Councilman. Uh, thank you for having me. Good. And so uh, today comes, it's a very special day because as we know, uh, there's a 22-person delegation that's already in Puerto Rico, much because you were, at, were able to actually write a letter to the mayor. Uh, first of all, talk about the response effort in Puerto Rico. Yeah, you know, um, Puerto Rico at, at this moment, you know, it's, 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 it's devastated. You know, they're still trying to recoup from Maria a little over two years ago. Uh, the federal government uh, has been very laid back in really providing the resources that, that they need. And, um, and uh, at the end of December, they were hit by a massive earthquake. And last week, Monday, they were hit by another massive earthquake of about 6.4. Um, immediately when that happened, that morning, uh, I get a call from my colleague, Reverend Ruben Diaz, and he says, Salamanca, let's sit down in my office, let's have a press conference, we need to, uh, we need to figure out how we're going to help uh, um, Puerto Rico. And so we sat there in the press conference, we had access to a few mayors in Puerto Rico, we gave them a call, and we asked them, how can we help you? What is it that you need? And they said two things, they said, please pray for us. And the secondly, they said, we need engineers, we need inspectors to come and inspect our homes, inspect our schools, our bridges, the infrastructure, uh, as weak as it is and is falling apart, people are sleeping in the street. And uh, immediately uh, I wrote a letter, uh, co-signed by Rev um, Reverend Ruben Diaz and some of my colleagues in the city council, asking uh, that the mayor send a delegation of emergency management uh, staff and also um, building inspectors so that they can go and inspect these buildings and inspect these schools. Mm -hmm. uh, the letter was written last week uh, and just yesterday uh, I had a press conference with the mayor uh, where he is sending a delegation of 22 professionals of engineers and emergency management staff who will go uh, to Puerto Rico, the southern, the southern parts of Puerto Rico, uh, to do these inspections. What are you hearing so far with boots on the ground in Puerto Rico? I know you said that definitely prayers are needed and some resources are needed, but what about the people? Yeah, the people, so there, there are many factors. Many, um, first, we need to ensure that their structures, their infrastructure is safe uh, so that they can go return back home. Uh, and secondly, you know, this, uh, this earthquake has had an emotional and mental has emotionally and mentally affected the people in Puerto Rico. You know, when, when Maria, what's interesting is when Maria hit, the hurricane came, they were tracking it, right? Mm -hmm. There was news reports and we knew it was gonna hit, when it was gonna hit. We, we were expecting how many miles per hour this storm uh, was going to really devastate Puerto Rico. An earthquake, there's really no warning, it just happens. Mm -hmm. And it just happened, you know? And, and, and not, not just the earthquake, but the tremors that continue to happen. Uh, you know, people are scared to go back to their homes. They're sleeping in the street. They're sleeping in tents. They're sleeping in their cars. Uh, so we, as New Yorkers, have to do all that we can to help them, provide them with the supplies that they need, and also provide them with the manpower that they need. For residents here in New York City who could actually help out and be of assistance, I know there's a benefit concert, but what else can be done? So on Friday, we are going to have a benefit concert here in Lehman College. Uh, where we are going to, uh, there, it's, it's, it's kind of a fundraiser, mm -hmm. um, and that uh, those proceeds will go, and on Saturday, we will have a relief drive, where we would be on the corner of Southern Boulevard and Alder Street, uh, where we're going to have 240 uh, foot uh, uh, trailers, and we're going to be accepting supplies. Uh, we're, going, we're asking people to bring batteries, flashlights, uh, toiletries, um, um, things of that nature, uh, tents that they have. We are not accepting any clothes and we're not accepting any money on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, so f so uh, in order to, to get uh, these materials uh, shipped to Puerto Rico, there's a cost. And so the uh, concert that we're having on Friday will cover the cost for, for what we're sending to Puerto Rico um, on Saturday. But what's interesting, you know, and there's a fear, uh, the fear of the trust in government in right. Puerto Rico. You know, we saw what happened in Maria. Supplies that were sent were left in fields. It did not get to the people that actually needed. And so we're not sending these supplies to government. 
to any government officials. We have non-for-profits, we have religious institutions that are on the ground working with the people. The supplies will get to them and we'll ensure that they get it to the people that most need it. It led into my next question, we're talking about that because we know the president uh, has been criticized for his relief effort or his lack of attention to the relief effort. Uh, talk to us about where that is and, and, and what you and, and your thoughts about that. Yeah, you know, um, uh, the federal government has totally turned their back on um, Puerto Rico. You know, um, in terms of, yes, uh, Congress approved the budget line, uh, but it's up to the, 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 the president to release that funding. And uh, that funding, I, I believe yesterday he made an announcement that a couple of billion dollars were going to be released uh, uh, to, uh, to Puerto Rico. But, you know, we, we can't trust this government, this federal government, especially, especially this president that's there in the White House. And so uh, we, as New Yorkers, have to do all that we can uh, to help uh, what we called the sixth borough of the city of New York. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I really want to applaud, number one, Governor Cuomo, who immediately sent uh, his people down to Puerto Rico to help bring back the electricity and the power grid. Um, and I know that the governor yesterday uh, with the borough president, uh, Ruben Diaz Jr. and Marcos Crespo, they visited uh, Puerto Rico to kind of assess what's, been, what's happening there. Um, and, 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 then, and then finally, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I really got to give a big kudos to Mayor Bill de Blasio for really stepping up and sending building engineers down to Puerto Rico. And you two haven't always seen eye to eye. Uh, no, no, we have not seen eye to eye, uh, but I applaud him on, his, uh, uh, on, on moving this forward. Where do you see things happening going forward? As far as Puerto Rico is concerned, it's 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 tough to say. You know, we first, you know, these earthquakes need to stop. You know, and but we have no control over that. Right. Um, but I think that the government, especially down in Puerto Rico, uh, once things calm down, have to really take a look at their infrastructure. You know, the infrastructure is old, depleted, built decades ago. Um, maybe not built with standards or built with very um, uh, cheap materials. Mm -hmm. um, as they rebuild, you know, um, I am confident that uh, as New Yorkers, we will help them, guide them as to how to build more efficiently, more resilient. Uh, so when these storms come, these earthquakes come, the infrastructure does not get destroyed. Your closing comments in regards to New Yorkers and being able to help out for Puerto Rico? I, you know, I am just really, I'm proud of Bronxites. I'm proud of New Yorkers for really stepping up uh, in this time of need uh, for Puerto Rico. And, you know, I urge everyone, you know, uh, please come to the concerts. You can uh, purchase tickets online. You can go to the Lehman uh, College website. Um, and if you can't, you know, swing by on Saturday. Help us out. Uh, bring in a case of water, batteries, or if you financially can't do it, just come and help us load the, the trucks. Um, that will go a long way. Right. And once again, no clothes and no money donations will be received. Yeah, exactly. There. Yes. All right. Councilman Rafael Salamanca Jr. Thank you. Good to have you, buddy. All right. All right. Listen, now, once again, there is a Puerto Rico earthquake relief concert taking place. That'll be Friday, January 17th at 7 p.m. at the Lehman Center for Performing Arts, located at 250 Bedford Park Boulevard West. Now, you can also join the councilman for a humanitarian relief effort taking place on Saturday, January 18th. That's going to be from 12 to 5 at Southern Boulevard and Aldis Street. We are taking a quick break. When we come back, we'll sit down with a doctor from Columbia University's Thyroid Center. That conversation comes up next.